it's Jill with Crick Flix, and I am going to be doing a couple scrapbook layouts tonight. I just finished up the Greatest Showman uh, party pieces, and I'm back to some scrapbooking. This one is going to be of my kids and grandchildren went to the Smoky Mountains over spring break and did some hiking and I've already done the scrapbooks of the zip lining. Well, it looks like we might have quite a few <laughs> pictures here that, okay, we're going to do the fishing. This is all out in the woods when they did the hiking. Their family shot and let me see, there's quite a few pictures here actually. I'll tell you one thing though, it is definitely hard to pick when I'm trying to pull <laughs> my favorites. There's way too many favorites. I'm going to narrow it down to here. Okay, and this would be my daughter Amy and her husband Doug and their five children. Okay, uh, the pile, the packet that I'm going to be using and print again this is going to be a full packet and one of the background papers is this stripe which i need to cut the oh the hangover there how do you like that the hangover and let's see okay don't know how i'm going to lay these so i'm just going to go ahead and trim them all down and I tell you, right now, I think my mind's running away from me. There we have some. Love this blue. The, it, the packets of this were actually, I'll put it at the end. I believe that some of these papers, but I don't, I'm not really sure. I was thinking we're from Shannon, but I had started, oh, I had written this. This was a, a PNG file here, and it was this little saying, and I just put it on my background paper. Take a hike. I did the same print as the blue, but in yellow. I didn't realize this says the same thing. So, this pack, it would probably be enough to do a couple. Maybe I had that in mind. That's probably why I had so many pictures. I got these ready last week. But I was having issues with my mother that required my going to her facility where she lives and trying to make a decision. I'm going to grab some background paper here because I'm going to use some solid colors. Had to go and, and meet up with the folks. Um, my mother's been kind of... Mm, I don't know what I want, how the word I would want to use for it. I'm going to use yellow for the background on these. Oh, let me show you the elements. I got a pair of hiking boots. <laughs> and I got a sign that would be along the pathway and trails with the footprints. And then I have a raft which these guys were near the water, but they definitely weren't rafting. It was in the winter. And the sleeping bag, a compass, a backpack, some binoculars, and hiking. And this file, let me double check where it came from before I get going more into it. Let's see. Um, I got it on Etsy, but I'm trying to verify who. Okay. The kit cart designs, kit cart designs were the backgrounds and yeah, there were different ones that I got. One of them is Divine Digital. Okay, I will write them on there where the packets came from. Um, I do not sell 
the files. I only sell the finished, ready to put together. However, uh, Aunt Jen and I had talked about it and would like to, I get asked a lot if folks can buy, buy the files. So we are going to start doing um, our files. We will not be reselling somebody else's. We're going to do our own, our own. So I'm in the process of learning that in my spare time, because you know, taking care of grandkids and a business and everything else I have going along with my mother, I have I have a spare moment. I think between the hours of three and four in the morning. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I have. It's so funny because school started, and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have all this free time um, with school starting. Well, um, I'm happy to say that I probably haven't had maybe one day, possibly two days since school started, that I didn't have or see one, at least one or more of my grandchildren. Um, which is fine because I, I haven't been, I retired uh, four or five years ago. I don't even know how long it's been. And my husband retired almost two years ago. And neither one of us has really known what it's like to be retired because we take care of the grandkids. Um, my, my husband has been working on building the shed in the back of the back. Well, anyway, he's been at ongoing projects. Well, every time he does a project, one of my kids see it and think, oh my God, I could use that too. So we have projects going projects going on at all three of their, their houses. And um, and I have kids every day. You know, uh, the other, it, some of them have class, like dance class, and they have soccer, and they have, have uh, basketball, and they have all these sports going on every single night. And so, or after school, and it seems like I always end up with one of them because they don't want to go and sit for two hours at ballet, particularly Will, to watch his sisters dance. And anyway, I end up out having one every single day. So I'm not bored out of my head here. Um, my husband isn't either. As a matter of fact, we think it's kind of humorous because, you know, how, why, how, how is it possible that, that we thought we were going to have a free moment for um, again, that's, it's not complaining. I'm thankful for it. Very, very thankful for it. We have it, we have it le shorter periods of time. We might only have them for a couple hours versus an eight hour day. So it's not been bad. Fridays we have them all day. But I've got seven months before my new granddaughter makes her debut and my daughter goes back to work. So between her mother and maternity leave and the time the baby's due, I have seven months off. And so I'm gonna really, really try my hardest to work on getting getting what we want changes we want to make in in our in our business, I guess you would say. So talked to Jenny yesterday and she'd mentioned it quite some time ago that we would really like to learn how to make our own files and start selling those. Um, just got to iron out the wrinkles on that one. So I'm cutting into that page and I didn't mean to. Uh, my husband had surgery yesterday. Uh, I, keep telling, I, I keep telling him how he's deaf. It's driving me nuts. He insists that he's not. Well, Come to find out, he had some issues going on with his inner ear. And he's been going to the doctor for probably close to a year now. And, and uh, different doctors and having an MRI and a CT scan. I mean, he's had everything for this horrible con like congestion that he has in his head and, and hollow sound in his hearing. Well, finally, he went to a specialist and they found what it was. So he had the surgery yesterday. And they told me it was going to be two, two hours. They said to me it'll be two, two hours and 45 minutes. So two and three quarters of an hour before he'll be ready. 
Well, I had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Now, I haven't gotten up at 4 o'clock in the morning since I had babies. I don't do 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I went to bed at like 8, took a sleeping pill, thinking, because I'm going to anticipate the alarm going off and I'm not going to get up. So, I took a sleeping pill and went to bed at 8.30. Well, I got up taken to the hospital and the sleeping pill hadn't worn out, worn off. And uh, so when we got up there and got him all checked in and he wheeled him away for the surgery, I said, ah, I got two and three quarters hours. I'm going to go sleep in the car. So I went out to my car, and uh, which was cut, thankfully, was right outside the door where he was at. But I went out there to catch up on sleeping. Then when I went back in, um, I sat down and all of a sudden the doctor comes, they come out and tell me that I need to see the doctor. And I thought, well, you know, it's only been like an hour because I didn't last that long on the car. I'll tell you how rude people can be. They're so noisy in a parking lot. Do they not know that there's people in cars out there sleeping or trying to? So they were not. They were ignoring the fact that I was trying to sleep and they were all so noisy. So I decided I got a little bit of a nap in there and I went back inside. And thankfully I did because he was already done. So um, it didn't take that very long at all. And there was something that happened that I was going somewhere with this story, but I think I've lost it. Okay, got these all matted. So, now we're going to see what we got for papers. This one's got a bunch of backpacks on it and the compass. And so, let's see here. This one said take the hike. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to use both of those. That's not going to happen. I think I'm going to use this blue for the background over here. And let me see. This stripe. I'm going to make this busy. So, let me cut the stripes up on this one. I want to bring in the colors. All the colors are in this particular print. And so I'm going to use these colors to bring in the yellow matting from that, the different colors of the blue and, and browns in here and the compass that's on there, and the yellow on this one. I want them to all run together. How do you like that? How do you like that? Let's see here. There we go. I went up to, to see my mother the other day to meet with the nurses about her being moved. I don't know if I've already said this in one of my other videos, but turns out we're not going to be moving her. She did not buy that at all. And she made that clearer than I could ever imagine. I mean, when I walked in, she had gone in a room and messed everything up. And when I went to ask her why she did that, she said, because I thought you were coming to move me. So she was just going to make it harder and make a mess and make a point. Uh, she made a point. So she's not moving into a, a, they want her to, to move into a level that eventually she's going to have to move because as she, as her dementia gets worse and requires more care, she's going to have to be moved to a different section of this. And I'm hoping that isn't real soon because I went and looked at the place and it is really tiny. Although she doesn't even use her bedroom now. <clears throat> I don't know why it would make any difference what size, but she made it clear to me. She's not moving anywhere. Okay, now let me see. I think I do not want any ruffles and duffles on this one because this is a rustic camping. So, let me see how many, how wide this is. This is 12. We're going to go 6. A little short, about 5 and 7. Because this one, how do you like that for a guesstimate? It wasn't exactly 12. So... Um, we're going to do the same thing this way. No, this way it is 12, so we're going to go 6 on this. I'm just going to cut this into 6 squares, guys. Since it has the backpack and the compass, I do want to make sure that my papers are going, the pattern are going the same direction. And then we're going to do this one. I think we're going to do this one. I know. I'm going to make... Let me see, I got a 12 inch piece and I'm going to do four, so I'm going to go three. I'm going to do four three inch strips. And where I'm heading, I don't know. Ooh. 
bad guy. Blade got stuck there somehow. Don't know what happened there, but I could hear it. And I can see a little chunk, but there'll be something over it, so I don't care. Don't care, don't care. Okay, when I went up to the hospital, this is how tired I was. I had taken my laptop, my iPad, my backpack full of breakfast, snacks, uh, I mean, everything that, that I was like packing to go on an overnight trip because I thought it was going to be an all-day thing. Because if you're talking a surgery that say, they say the surgery alone was going to be nearly three hours, and you're talking the recovery, when they put them in, they prep them and all this, I said, I'm going to be there all day. So I backed my pack, backpack with everything and took all my electronics with me. And when I got there, I wanted to make sure I wasn't sitting next to anybody because if I was working, if I had some customers I had to work with, I... I, I just, I didn't want to be by anybody and phone calls to make and things like that. So I'm looking around for a place and, and it's a huge waiting room. But I noticed that the one person is sitting strategically at every corner. Like nobody wanted to sit by one another. And I'm thinking, these, these people think everybody's sick. Why, why is everybody so scattered out? Well, I'm paying attention to that not paying attention to where I'm going. And I found the perfect spot and sat down without realizing I was sitting on a table. There was a end table between the chairs. Um, life's most embarrassing moments because I'm looking for a place to stay away from anybody and they probably thought what is she doing because I'm kind of walking around scoping. I was scanning the place. I wanted to, or what is that called? Um, I can't think who does. I know what I'm thinking but I can't. But anyway I sat down and got all ready to get to work and had people looking at me kind of weird and realized I was sitting on a table. The table was the same height as the chair, so at least to give me that. I'm just playing around here while I'm going to, how I want to line this up. I'm not lining it up with the pictures, I'm just lining it up on the page. And these, all these are printouts. The, the, these are all digital papers. I think I already said that, but if I didn't, I'll say it again. These are all digital papers. Get it that way. Okay, I think I can handle it. Watch, guys, see how long. Somebody said take a picture when I do this, how I had it laid out, so I can just kind of look at it and see. I want to go to take it all off and tape it down and put my pictures on. And right over there and over there. Okay, I got it. And you're probably right that I should take it and, you know how, let's see how close I get to getting it right when I put it on. I am not betting that I'm going to get two of the squares right. The one fun, fun thing about scrapbooking is you can do whatever you want and there is no making a mistake. Unless, of course, you put one of your pictures on upside down. That might not be real cute. Funny, but not cute. Okay, so I have this one up here over the stripe. I do remember that. These I just cut into six by six by six squares. And everybody knows these are 12 by 12 inch papers two-page layout. Uh, not the vast majority of the books, any books that I own, all the empty scrapbook bones, books I own uh, are all 12 by 12. Um, eight and a half by 11 is, is the next size. It's pretty common. However, I don't have one. They do not hold enough. I have too much, too many memories that need to be See, this is a mistake you can make. You put your pattern upside down. I wonder how many of you are paying attention and caught that. Hit 5 million on my channel today. You know, those that hate me won't find joy in it. <laughs> but those that don't will give me a congrats. And what else happened? 
there was all sorts of stuff as usual I think oh my gosh I, that's a funny one I gotta tell that one and then I forget and Shannon you said about jotting down or, or different things to organize um, for anybody that that can relate to me and think oh my god she's describing me my daughter Amy and I are two peas in a pod um, that very frustrating for my husband is because I if I get a a um, planner I forget to use it so then I'll resort to something that I can do on the internet to keep track and I still forget you know I make a list go to the grocery store and when I get the grocery store I forget the list uh, I do I did get it I finally got a Alexa now she's gonna ask me what I wanted because she just went on to <laughs> um, keep track so that I get in the store and I need to remember what it was that I went there for I go in there and read it however I talk so fast and so blurry and blah that I get there Alexa writes down what she hears and it is not necessarily what I said and my husband will get at the grocery store and he'll call me and go, what is, the other day he called me and said, what's bar? I'm at the grocery store and you got bar in here. What's bar? I said, I don't know what bar is. So I finally had to tell him, listen, just, just, if you see something like that and you can't make rhyme or reason of it, just forget it. Don't get it. It's not something we need, obviously. Um, and then I'll try and read it and figure it out and won't be able to. So whenever I go out and I'm looking for something, I have to take... And, and think, okay, what is it that I was trying to say? And sounding it out, maybe I can figure it out. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But again, if it was something that was that important, I, pro I probably would remember. I think I would. Anyway, maybe not. Okay, now, you can see as I'm laying these out, Again, I'm talking and laying these these pictures out, not giving much thought to it, just doing it. And this is kind of to show people that scrapbooking is relatively simple. There's no, um, and I want to say there's no art to it. It's easy. Anybody can do it. And those that have a hard time with, with figuring out how they want to place their their pieces or, or elements and things like that, that's why I'm here to help. I can I have the elements. Um, if you're having trouble because you're you can't figure out um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh, can't figure out a layout that there are tons of people out there that actually um, sell lay templates of layouts. And then you have, of course, videos where I do a layout and you have pictures at the end so you can do what you want to it. And typically any packets that I put together for, for a two-page layout, I would say more than 75% of the packets is really enough to do four pages. I always have a lot of the, like if I didn't cut up these pieces, there's another take a hike page here, and I cut up two pages here where if you want it less busy, which some people do, they don't like all the hoopla, so they don't need to, to put so much on, on a page. I'm stopping and breathing between what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say, but guys, it's sometimes not easy to do this and talk at the same time. This is the <laughs> the compass. And I'm pop dotting that. So I've got my take a hike in the hiking boots and the compass on that page. And 
after I get this page laid out, I will decide what more is going to go on here. Probably these. I'm going to see. Let me see. And you don't have to stick every... Ooh, I, put, I tipped toward that one. You don't have to put every one of the elements on that you have. Again, that depends on the person and how busy they want it to be. Some people don't want all that going on because uh, they think it takes away from the pictures. So I don't think any real true d scrapbookers feel like you can ever make a page too busy. I've seen the ones that are out there. Some of the some people I've seen do these these pages that they're absolutely gorgeous. They're they're just awesome. But they're ones that are a work of art and would take forever to do. And I am playing catch up with my four kids. I do not have the time to do them any more elaborate than I do. This is the way it is, and it's not going to change. Okay, got my beautiful daughter. This this daughter, that my old, younger daughter, is up at Dork County in Wisconsin. That is absolutely, unbelievably beautiful for her anniversary. And it made me think of it because of these guys camping and everything. They don't have any of the kids with them, of course, but um, they've been sending pictures, or she's been sending pictures. And I can't, I'm like, I've never been there before. I can't believe it. it's four hours for me. And this old, and I've never been to Door County. And my, my older brother saw that comment on my Facebook, and he writes me, he's like, yes, you have. You've been there before. And he started telling me about it, and I wrote him back. And I said, well, it must have been all the beer I had because I don't remember ever being there. And he, and he writes me back and he says, you were only one or two. And I said, and your point? I was one or two. And he, and anyway, um, he was referring to my having the beer and I was trying to joke back with him saying, of course, everybody else would understand what uh, my point. But he said afterwards, he said, you were only about one or two. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to put this. Trails, sign, hiking, and trails. Let's see. Let me see. Hiking, I'm going to put that over here. So apparently I have been to this beautiful place before. Even if I have one or two, I should remember. And I don't. And I know I shouldn't. But I'm going to see if my husband will take me up there in for the colorama, because that would be absolutely stunning if I can pull myself away. The older I get, the bigger home body I am. I'm doing one of these guys layout too that I forgot to mention in the beginning. Camera's a little bit back today because I'm going to kind of hit and miss. They'll some be real close, some will not be so close. And it will be whatever I'm in the mood for. So. She's right by the water, so I'm going to go ahead and put this old raft right there, ready for her to jump on. Oh, man, there we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that right where she's at, on the water. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it on the water over here. They're hiking across the creek. So I'm going to put that down on where they're hiking across the creek. And I want this other hiking sign and trails. I probably am going to use all the elements on this one. Except for the feet or the footprint sign. That one's a little too big. I have too many pictures for this one to put all of that on. There we go with that, and I'm going to put the magnifying glasses there. Magnifying. Binoculars. That's what it is. Binoculars. I was calling them magnifying glasses. And so, now that that has come to me, 